second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound. And I ain't talking home court when I'm stomping ground. It's coming hurt. Oh Lord, my lesson. I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta. Second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound. And I ain't talking home court when I'm stomping ground. It's coming hurt. Oh Lord, my lesson. I'm gassed up in that. Second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound. And I ain't talking home court when I'm stomping ground. It's coming hurt. Oh Lord, my lesson. I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta. One 
you know you hear a swish My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sounds There is always a time, a moment, and a place for you. And right now, for those of us that are on the rough end of things and may not be able to see their way out, so to speak, there is a transition period where things do change and it doesn't stay the same forever. And I was very fortunate myself that um, I was in this position. I'm very fortunate to have this opportunity to where I can speak to you and have this platform where I can raise a voice for others who may not be able to speak for themselves. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be able to do this program and to let our listeners know that, listen, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I always say that conditions doesn't have to be perfect for you to complete the course in this road of life that you're on. It doesn't matter that it seems that, okay, your back's against the wall and that this is a hopeless situation, it's not. It's actually a great opportunity for you right now. It's a time when you yourself as the individual can make a, gra a drastic change in your life, that you can seek to be better and implement strategies and steps that'll take you there. My guest tonight includes Rohan Wilson, who's a young man that I met over my time in, 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 down here in Jamaica since being deported. And over that course of time we've been together, I noticed that he has a, a great determination, very headstrong, very business savvy, uh, a very diligent man in his business. And that uh, he started from the ground floor and got himself to where he is now. And now his future plans are to develop real estate properties of um, putting, putting up apartment complexes. And he, he's really stepped up his game going from you know being deported starting from ground zero working his way up you know help from friends and family using opportunities put before him opening a jewelry store business getting himself into a better position you know buying a home making those steps he's going to talk all about that tonight and we're going to be divulging on conversations with him about how to take those steps and using your platform regardless of how you may see it or as low as you may think that it is into something greater because no matter where you are in life that's your launching point and it doesn't matter if it seems that oh man i'm not going to be able to make it from here you can you can take that launch point and go to the next level and a lot of times i think we defeat ourselves by not looking at the opportunities that are before us more than thinking something has to be handed to us or there's going to be somebody to come along and do it. You are the solution. I've been saying that over the last couple of weeks on this program. That's my new mantra. That's my motto now. I'm always looking that I am the solution, meaning I can make this better. I don't have to look elsewhere for somebody else to do it. The help will come along as needed when necessary, but I have to be the one to take those steps to make myself better. And I'm encouraging our listeners today to develop yourself into that individual that is more determined. That doesn't have to be a physical change. That's something that begins within. Develop that determination, that diligence, that discipline that you're going to need to take yourself to higher heights, to newer levels, to bigger and better grounds. You'd be surprised the people that God puts in your life that is going to be able to also enhance that now and begin to see you 
through your changes, put you in the places that you need to be and get yourself to that next level. I know what it's like to be in a house with no lights on, no food, wondering where your next meal is coming, wondering where the next dollar is coming. I know what it's like to be alone, not a soul, not a friend, not a family, just you yourself and your tears at night and the troubles on your heart. I know what it's like. And for those that are in that deep state, I'm telling you that joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Celebrate yourself. In a time where you may feel like this is an obstacle, celebrate yourself. Celebrate the fact that you're alive. Celebrate the fact that your heart is beating and that you have a mind that is full of intelligence and that you can do something with your life. Celebrate the fact that you can turn the corner when necessary. This program here is to inspire change. And I believe change comes from the person within first. And once your mind state change and the way you look at things change, your environment will begin to change. Your circumstances will begin to change. And you will have a meteoric rise like none other. I believe in those things. I believe in it. But it does take time. Everything takes time. Everything is a process. But you have to be willing to take those steps. I'm very fortunate that I was able to move from where I was to where I am now. To see myself go through that time and that process. For those of you that may be without shelter, there's Open Arms, 16 and a half Windward Road, Kingston 2. And that's a facility that offers um, basically residential housing for deported migrants, excuse me. A drop-in day center for homeless men and women, residential facilities, including physical and mental health care for up to 90 homeless men. And they also have programs there as well. And Hope for Tomorrow is always encouraging others to, 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 to take that step forward. And no matter where you are, you don't have to to have a great start to, to have the, to to have that wonderful finish and i didn't have a facility to go to i didn't know about open arms at that time i started from ground zero i know what it's like to sleep in cars to be homeless to have no one and nowhere to be struggling just to find just even to, 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 to find a way to find a meal. I know what it's like. But God sees everything. And if you don't have faith in anything else, then you're going to have to have faith in yourself to make it to where you are. And my encouragement is right now, you're the solution. And you're going to be prosperous and you're going to make great strides. Everything starts with one step at a time. You believe in yourself, you will receive it. You can achieve it. But you got to be willing to make the steps. There's nothing to fear. And you have everything to gain. And this is a special time for you in your life. Because this is beginning anew. This is not starting over. This is beginning anew. We're going to take a quick short break. When I come back, I'm going to have my guest, Rohan Wilson. And we'll be discussing how to implement business ideas, certain business ideas here in Jamaica. Starting and finishing points and how he got to where he is now. And we're going to be discussing a large realm of business ideas and just basically brainstorming each other today. But we're going to take a quick short break. We'll be right back. This is Hope for Tomorrow Radio here on reggae to reggaecom reggaetoreggae.com and we have more for you. Keep it locked. This is the Uprising Rose Band and I represent the reggaetoreggae.com Boom shakalakalaka boom 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 Sing, check out, I'm out. Trench down, you keep on rocking 
Bang ba ding be dong, bang bing be ding, trench down. You keep on rocking, yeah. Yeah, the uprising group. Reggae to reggae. Reggae to reggae. Taking over the world. Yeah, this is Andy Livingston, the Living Roots, all right? Now you're tuned to Reggae to Reggae TV. All right, now you don't know. Reggae to Reggae, for the best in life. Reggae music, you know what I mean? Bless up. One love. This is the Uprising Roots, but I represent the Reggae to Reggae.com. Boom, shakalakalaka, boom, boom, boom. Sing, check out. I'm out. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Bang ba ding be dong bang bing be ding trench down You keep on rocking yeah Yeah the uprising group You know you hear a switch My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed It's the anticipation The way the crowd just stand Good night, and we are back. Hope for tomorrow radio here on reggae2reggae.com. Radio like you've never seen it, TV like you've never heard it. This is Hope for Tomorrow Radio. I'm your host, Ricardo Stevenson. Tonight's guest, we have a very wonderful friend of the program as well, and also a very good friend of mine, Mr. Rohan Wilson. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming in tonight. How are you doing? All right, sir. Nice to be here, Rick. How are you doing? Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate your presence here. Yeah. Um, anything. Anything. Support this call. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I appreciate yeah, that. For, the, for, for all the people out there that are lost to what's really going on and, yeah. and can really make a, uh, put, facilitate some, something for them to make an effort, yeah. give them a place where they can make an effort at where somebody will embrace ideas. Right. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Um, we were speaking before last week for our listeners and viewers out there. You were on the show. We had a little bit of technical trouble, and I don't know if everybody really absorbed our conversation fully and I wanted to kind of bring you back again so we could really sit down and dig in, divulge more into, you know, how we can, you know, become better businessmen and women as deported migrants as well. And I thought you really had a lot of wonderful points. Me and Minister Lovejoy speaking about you and she was really, really, really fond of your business mentality and, you know, you're a business-minded individual and we really wanted to sit down with you this hour today and, you know, get a good conversation piece going with you about your stride. So I want to begin by asking you, what were some of your challenges in the beginning as a deported migrant coming up into reaching where you were? Well, you know, Rick, um, one of the um, biggest problems I found in doing business here in Jamaica was um, employees being incompetent mm -hmm. to their duties. And it wasn't because they didn't know what to do. So it was just based on a, 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 a attitude yes. that, that 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 was based in culture, mm -hmm. you know. And, yes, um, right. yes and, and you know, but I don't think they intentionally um, wanted it to be that way. But you know, when something is cultural, it, it becomes very in, 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 innate. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, it's, yes. It's, it's habit. You yes. know, and um, one of the things where um, I would I would find myself the numbers are never coming up right. Right. You know, may it be for our goods or um, to to the amount of work that's happening and and and, and to what's happening and to what the the, the benefits are mm -hmm. after it, it it wasn't balancing yeah. out. You know, and you know, coming here with this um, American mentality, you know, um, that you know employees, you, the, the the management or owners should have a very good relationship with employees. And you know, I came here with a little, you know, being a little bit more open-handed, yeah. giving a little free reign to yeah, the employees. A little bit naive, so yeah, to, to make them feel yeah. responsible. And um, because part, part of one of the big problems here in Jamaica 
um, is what we call practical knowledge. You know, yes. there's a lot of textual knowledge base. Um, it's a it's a textual knowledge base environment. Right. So there's there, there's lack of, 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 of practical knowledge based based on the fact that, pl that there's no facilitation for it. There's not a, there's not equipment. There's no good um, internship programs. You know and you know, if we could build more facilities even like this right here, we could give you a forum to be able to do what you're doing today. These are the things that we need to start embracing, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just trying to be on the corner selling fruits and, 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 right. and running around. There's a bigger there's bigger things going on here. We right. need people like us to be where we're controlling the money. Right. We're controlling investment. Um, um, not based on the old way of doing things, but a new way and a new right. model. Just so these, so employees don't, we don't have to go through the, pro, the, the problems like I had with my employees, which were very good people, you know, I, don't get me wrong, they were, they had good hearts, good girls, you know, but, you know, based on the environment, it was, it was, it was very hard on them. Yes. And one, of the, and, and, and one of the thing is, you know, and I don't have a problem with, with, with people having money, but, you know, people must realize that, you know, the money is not yours, you know, the money is the people. And it needs to be shared, you know. Wealth need to to be passed on, you know. It um and t technology need to be transferred, you know. And we need to facilitate this, yes. and that's what create the lack of what we have today. When you hear all the programs are talking about called innovation, mm -hmm. and that's where we lack innovation because everybody is trying to save their position. Everybody's mm -hmm. trying to, you know, um, you might go to the bank and you want to do something. Well, they don't want to do it because they're scared to take a chance, you know? And so basically on the streets, you know where we're from in Florida, mm -hmm. we call that scared money. Yeah. Scared money make no, no money, money. That's true. you know what I'm saying? And that's what the environment is. Yeah. It's not enough people getting their hands on the money. Right. You know, don't think that, well, I'm the one that's supposed to have the money and, and, and I'll say what goes in, what goes no. Mm -hmm. You must make everybody get an opportunity to touch the money. Right. You understand? I mean, we have to facilitate that we are where the money comes down the line. Mm -hmm. You know, and you get your cut, you get your cut, I get my cut. So when I get it and get that in my hand, I might decide to make an investment to improve on this model that we're doing personally. That's right. Okay? And that's and and, and, and you know, you, you you can't blame the society and the people that's because right. They're going through the same thing, you know. They're going through what I'm going through on a lower level, you know. Going dealing with people with the same attitude, this pessimistic attitude of, um, oh, you can't do that. This is Jamaica, you know. The same attitude over and over. But surprisingly, you know, Jamaica has a lot to offer. Yes, it does. You know, I mean, if these people even had a idea to what they're playing with. Right. They they just they don't understand. They're they're still their mind is still in this in this penny picking yes. attitude of yes. you know, oh I don't wanna invest that much. I mean, a lot of our problems here in Jamaica, the money's here to do it. Yes it is. All right, why we can't do it? Mm -hmm. Same thing. You don't have a a, 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 a um a union between the street the people, the government and our religious um, institutions, yes. and those are the three, you know, pillar, the pillars at, um, at the at, 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 at top. Well, you got another pillar, but we don't want to really get into that part because <laughs> there's another show for that. Yeah. But you know, those are the basics for the for the regular people, your That's citizens. You know, and you know, a lot of people need to understand that if you have an idea, you know, don't let no one tell you that it can't work. That's true. From there telling you that it from there telling you that it can't work because oh people don't want to do this, people want to do this. You don't have to be their enemy, but you need to disconnect yourself from it. I appreciate that. Because That's you know in this society people are so used to things going wrong, nothing people never do it what they say they're going to do. It's like it's a place of 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 of, of, of a nest of pessimistic ideology, yeah. pes pessimistic thinking. Yeah. You know, where there's no optimistic um, view mm -hmm. into seeing anything because they've never seen it in mm -hmm. a good no, way right. other than somebody else doing it or it, I mean they might see it here with music a guy starts out from the ghetto mm -hmm. and he makes it and start entertaining look you know what I'm saying and he makes it and starts making a lot of money right. but still based on our culture we're still robbed right. because because of our lack of knowledge as a society or a whole society 
Even our artists, our musicians don't benefit from this. So everything that we do as a people and citizens, we, we don't even maximize our potential in any way. You know, and that's what we're here for. You know, nothing happened by, by coincidence. That's true. And believe me, deported migrants are here for a reason. That's true. You know, they always say, you know, you know, in the Bible, it, talks about the prodigal son. Right. You know, we're back Turn home. home. Yes. And hey, hey, we're up back home to make our country proud. You know, we don't have to worry about running away, going back to America, because we have ways of doing that too. Right. Either we could do it the legal way, the other ways that are um, breaking statue, mm -hmm. but it's still, you know, you have to make that choice. Right. You know, we've chosen to fight it. Right. You know, because we don't see it as a fight. We see yeah. it as something that has to be done. Exactly. And you know, we, we, we're here, you know, we, we want to work with other people, you know, but we're not going to we, we don't want to be told we can't do it. Exactly. Don't tell us that. If you're going to tell us that, we don't care who you are. Exactly. We don't care how much money you have. Exactly. Because you have to understand something. We're the deported migrant community. We're rich. Yes, we our are. money is, uh, you can't count our money. Yes. You know, ask Western Union what we do for them every year. Money grant. Ask no, no, Jamaica no, National what we that's do true. for them every year. You don't, you, you don't run anything, and we know this. Exactly. You know, and, and, and if you don't work with us, eventually we're going to take possession of what's what what's what's rightfully yeah, ours, ours. Amen. you know, and, and believe me, we're going to share it. Yes, so if yes. you don't want to share it, you can't be a part of this. Right. You know, we're in unison right now with other Jamaicans that are seeing what we're talking about. They're sick of riding around in potholes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? To me, exactly. I don't see the difference between downtown and uptown. That's I true. shouldn't be able to go outside and see rough roads nowhere. Exactly. You know, road should be a given. That's, that shouldn't be um, privileges or yes. um, luxury. That yes, should be right. the norm. Yes. You know, good roads, um, uh, um, good facilitation for education. I, my, my child shouldn't have to take a test to go to these name brand schools. How about that? I know yeah. my, my, my child should take a test and he go right around the school around the corner because the same th the same equipment is there yeah, for yes. just to add to that practical knowledge. Yes. That's 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 up there and um. The Excelsior mm -hmm. or or these other facilities, you yes. know, you know, and it doesn't take a lot to do this. That's true. You know, I think that you know we need to to talk to government, you know, um, um, work with the government, you know, because they are there, you yeah, know, and you. and you know it, you know, we could complain about the government all day. They, they, nobody is to be blamed. That's true. That's all. We're at a we're at a crossroad, you know, and let us all for once, you know, put our hands together and cross the street. True. You know, and, and, and go across. May it be the poor man, the rich man, the politician, the policeman, yeah. the, the gangster in the street that's yes. busting his gun. Yes. You know, everybody has a superhero. <laughs> everybody wants to be saved. That's true. You know, so yeah. hey, who's going to save the world? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody has to save the world. Yeah. You know, you know, a lot of us hold on to God. Yes. You know, because we know definitely he'll save the world. Yeah. You know, but he does it in his time, you know, right. so... And, and, and also, I, I, I think while this growth is going to go go on, because it is going to happen, it's, it's inevitable, it's, it, it has to happen. That's true. I think that we should embrace something I, 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 I think is proper called spiritual economics. You know, we're a spiritual nation, mm -hmm. you know, a spiritual country, spiritual people, deep roots. You don't know how strong these roots are, you know, they're, they're, they dominate the world in a, in, a, in, a, in a very huge way. That's true. You know, and um, I, I, I think, I know, I think we have a lot on the table here to do it. You know, let's, let's, let, let's get it done. Let's, let's keep doing what we know is right. And, you know, I don't think, you know, get this attitude of, of fighting against each other. If a man is trying something, allow him to try something. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is here. They want to see better. Even the man that's that's that 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 so-called breaking statue, he wants to see better. You know, we can't do things backward as a nation. We have to cross, like I said, this road to a to a better place. You know, together this time, not apart, but together. All right, great stuff. Great, great stuff. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more hope for tomorrow radio here on Reggae to Reggae dot com. Ground. It's coming hurt. Oh Lord, my lesson. I'm gassed up in that late down in Atlanta.
reggae to reggae.com and we have more for you. Keep it locked. Five, four, three. Hi, I'm Jasmine Tash from the Jasmine Tash Live Show. And you're watching Hope for Tomorrow on Reggae Radio, Radio and TV. Not this is the Uprising Rose Band and I represent the Reggae to Reggae dot com. Boom shakalakalaka boom boom boom. Sing, check out. I'm out. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Bang 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 bang. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Yeah, yeah, the Uprising Rose My name is Ruel. Hey, and I'm Joya. And this is the man, Jaden. And, and we, we are British, British Dependency out, out of Anguilla. Anguilla. And, and you're listening to Reggae to Reggae TV and Radio. Yes! Yeah, this is Andy Livingston, the Living Roots. All right, now you're tuned to Reggae to Reggae TV. All right, now you don't know. Reggae to Reggae for the best in live reggae music. You know what I mean? Bless up. One love. Reggae to Reggae! Reggae to reggae, taking over the world. I came from the bottom, I'm a man, I'm on the top, and all they hear is no one see a nigga fall, but I'm not because I'm a champion. Tell them I'm a champion. You know you hear a switch My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound And I ain't talking home court when I'm stomping ground It's coming hurt, oh lord my lesson I'm gassed up in that lay down to Atlanta I'm talking all the haters wanna see a nigga fall But I'm not cause I'm a champion I'm a champion, I'm a champion Lay down the headlamp. I'm talking all the haters wanna see a nigga. 
second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound. And I ain't talking on court when I'm stomping ground. The stomach hurt, oh Lord, my Atlanta. I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta. I'm talking all the haters wanna see a nigga fall, but I'm not cause I'm a champion. All you hear is swish My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sound And I ain't talking on court when I'm stomping ground The stomach hurt, oh lord, my Atlanta I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta I'm talking all the haters wanna see a nigga fall But I'm not cause I'm a champion from where we were just wanted to ask you um basically what kind of commitment two questions what kind of commitment did it take for you to get off the ground with your business and um what what else do deported migrants add to the table as far as infrastructure in the corporate community how what else do we do? Our other um, corporations that we support, the Western Unions, Delta Airlines, all those other corporations that because of our money and our family's money being funneled down here to keep us... Well, you know, it goes down the line, Rick. Yeah. Bank accounts. Yeah. Um, you, like I said, Western Union. Jamaica Did you sell a yeah. lot? You know? Yeah, oh, um, who doesn't? Uh, we uh, bought uh, every phone card in the business, uh, right? Uh, hey, man. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You know, um, like the one Ric Flair said, it takes a whole lot of money. <laughs> it takes a whole lot of money. Yeah, Ricky. Now let, let, let's just just get off. Yeah, break it down. Let's, let's just break this. Break down, it down. You know? Break it down. Uh, you know. Um, you know. It, it, you know. We we, I, we have to have. I tell you what. Hold that thought. Yes. Yes. We're going to take a quick break. Yes. We'll be right back with more of this conversation because now we're getting into the good stuff. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We'll get everything back up to speed. We'll continue on. Octavia's coming in with the liaison lounge. We're beautiful going to pick girl, it up from there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful co-host yeah, Octavia beautiful Duhaney. Man. We're going to pick up from there and we're going to get into back to this topic here on um, how, how the deported migrants influence the economy. Yes, as well. yes, yes, yes. All right. We'll be right back. More Hope for Tomorrow Radio here on RadioToReggae.com.
reggae to reggaecom and we'll have more for you. Keep it locked. <laughs> Since the first public demonstration of radio by Nikola Tesla in 1893, no one ever thought of putting the two hours of music together until we created reggae to reggaecom On reggae to reggaecom we encourage our listeners with an inclusive, intelligent, and innovative alternative media experience. This is the Uprising Rose Band, and I represent the reggae to reggaecom Boom, shakalakalaka, boom, boom, boom. Sing, check out, I'm out. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Bang ba ding be dong bang bing be ding trench down You keep on rocking yeah Yeah the uprising group Reggae to reggae Reggae to reggae Taking over the world Yeah this is Andy Living Stand the Living Roots alright now you're tuned to Reggae to Reggae TV all right, now you don't know Reggae to reggae for the best in life reggae music you know what I mean bless up one love. Again, I'm your host, Ricardo Stevenson. I'm here with a wonderful guest, Mr. Rohan Wilson, who has been very, very, very intriguing in our conversation. It is time for that special hour of the hour where we give a half hour to our wonderful co-host with the most, Octavia Duhaney. Very lovely, wonderful lady who I'm always privileged to spend this half an hour with, my good friend Octavia. So what is popping? Uh, what's going down and what you got in store for us tonight? Everything is going down, everything. What we have tonight, well, first let me keep the bear cans, let me stop. Because <laughs> you guys were having so much fun, I was like... Well, we were having a great conversation. Yeah, I mean, the guy, I, like I tell you what, I would say this about... Mr. Wilson, he's really got his head on, and he's got the blinders on the side, and it's straight down the road. And when you run into people like that, you know, you can feed off of that energy because he's not going to tell himself, you know, he's, you know, trying to get there. I really appreciate that. That's good. That's good. I, really I, I felt that. the drive. I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah, he's really good. Like football is going on. <laughs> beers popping. Three-pointer. Oh, okay. NBA. <laughs> yeah, what a game. What a game. Warriors. <laughs> Come on, get the smile off your face and ask her a question. I know. No, on, it's Octavia. So it's this, this well, the liaison line. So we liaison it with her. She's in. She's in yeah. full command. It's my girl, man. Do your thing, baby. I just want to say hi to everyone. Hope for tomorrow, and you know, it's always some hope for tomorrow with us. Always some hope, and um, I know it's difficult. You know, it for is. a lot that's of right. people that's been deported. And we wouldn't really know um, success without difficulties, right? It's true. Yeah. Speak and on it. There wouldn't be any fun without difficulties because, you know, that's where the, the stories come in. Right. You know, when Something you sit to down, overcome, right? 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 Like how YouTube was kicking it. Y'all yeah. just, you know, talking about who, who's the guy? Ric Flair. Oh, it <laughs> well, take a whole lot of money. Well, to, to um, between us, right? You know, different. We're friends off here, so 
regardless, um, I think we just have one of those relationships where it's like, it's kind of more like your brother yeah. type of thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that kid brother, you guys play around, you have these inside jokes, it's just that type of thing. But the positive influence that is generated from him, mm -hmm. yeah, it's terrific. Well, you you wouldn't get that from someone who wasn't motivated and or didn't grow didn't, up abroad right. or don't know Ric Flair. Right. So you know, there's um, uh, there's that you. connection. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that we funny made. enough. That's a connection point, right? Right. That's a connection. So you know, um, that's what I saw. I said, wow. You know, it feels good when you can actually have that experience with someone who knows that feeling, you right. know, right? Like even apple pie and vanilla ice cake. Oh, you know, like with apple pie just coming out mm. the oven and you have Forgive some me. nice <laughs> Breyers ice cream or something. Oh, vanilla We're on here. With, the, with, the, with the vanilla chip in oh, it or something on top of that goodness. hot apple pie. Yes. Not, not really too, or even pumpkin pie, you know, Pumpkin pie is wonderful. Thanksgiving. Oh, but even... What's the, what's the one pies? Muslims make? The brothers, bean the nation. Pie. Bean pie. Bean pie. Oh, I know. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I know. That's good. It's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, that, that's good And so, stuff. like, okay, like, we were talking about... By the way, about that's created by the nation of Islam. Yes. You know, Farrakhan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's Farrakhan. Slash, 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 slash. Slash Jamaican. <laughs> slash. African-American. No, he is, slash. um... Not to get off kilter, but... Minister Farrakhan, the first generation great Jamaican, great Jamaican, grandparents, Jamaican. right on Law Street, isn't it? Yeah, great grandparents. If I'm not, it's not the great great, but great one great. It would be. They they migrated. Louis Farrakhan, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Honestly, yes. straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, know that. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, and you know, um, a lot of people, you know, you should, you know, I don't know what you've heard about Louis Farrakhan. I used to listen to him from when I was a little kid. You remember growing up? And the Muslims are on the corner selling the, um, the newspapers. I Nation, uh, or The Nation, right? Yeah. The Nation? Oh, man, we were hooked. You know, you, you went about your little scully twin walking around, thought you was Muslim and you had knowledge, right? Well, then, <laughs> I think that there's a, 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 common, a commonality with some of the things they do and what we're trying to accomplish here as far as, like, self-empowerment. Oh yeah, and, so, and believing so. that the mentality has to change in yeah, yeah, order yeah. for things to change. Not of, not of just one person, of a nation. Uh -huh. And let me say, like, um, because we are, or I heard you all talking about um, entrepreneurship. Yeah. Like, yeah. what the theme of tonight' discussion is: what we can do in Jamaica. Right. You know that we possibly probably did abroad or what yeah, business, um, abroad business ideas that, that we, we could implement up. there you go bean yeah. pies mm -hmm. hey, it's no, no exactly, knock it till you try it Don't seriously you? exactly how they make it the individual bean pies i'm telling you just have to just have a selection like bean pie potato pudding mm -hmm. um, sweet potato pie is my favorite right well, that's it. Potato pudding. Oh. It's not sweet potato pie. Uh, <laughs> sweet potato pie is in the window and the bear go and eat and steal that. No. Come on. Oh, what's wrong with that? He's going to be from Palm Beach. Yes, I am. Oh, Lord. That's Yogi Beer. Oh, Yogi Bear. Yeah, I'm a Yogi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I'm a Yogi. Oh, where is he? Yeah, but, but down there, it's potato pudding. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that it almost includes everybody from the islands or the Caribbean that even some Haitian guys up there would dress Jamaican yeah. and not say that they're Haitian. Uh, Belize people from, there's a lot of different other cultures and that I can say. But who but said we're not proud when we're down here? I think I'm not we're, saying we're uh, not. We're, we're the happy-go-lucky looking uh, uh, ones. But Rick said a thing just a while ago, you know. We don't um, act the same. We're not We're not so like self-invested into it here you as know, we are here. It's, it's a defense. It's a defense. No, but I think Rick says something, though, where a lot of us you know, I think we were. I think our hearts were broken. I think so too. I, I think that we thought we were so superior, and and, and we can fit. You know, I, a, a Bahamian homeboy of mine told me, and, 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 and you know, and people, I, I, you know, I'll be the first to tell you, seven year bid running. But anyway, like I was saying, right, with that out the way, because <laughs> hey, nobody has secrets for Rohan Wilson. <laughs> no one has secret. I don't have to bother anybody. You want to know something? Ask. You know what I'm saying? But I think our hearts were broken. I think what happened is we faked it to make it. In other words, we made you believe that we were somebody. <laughs> you know? And then when you come here, it's like, man, I, this dumb song. I've been fighting for like, you know, I, fight, you know, I, fight, I got jumped for you. This, this is I what got jumped for you, you know? Okay. You, you, now you want to be like them. You want to dress and you're like down them. down here acting like, like this. this. Yeah. <laughs> You know, one time you know, you heard what Rick said. We're not even paying attention to when you dress Jamaican. Oh. So wait one second. So Jamaican have a way that they dress? Yes, floral uh, and print. Yeah, and, and let's no. think about this. Let's bounce you this know, off the wall. Yeah, we identify. There's a certain way that people identify us, and they know it's us right away. Culturally, just yeah. that. That's a Jamaican. Yeah. Look how he dress. Look how he talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. Right. When we're here, we seem to want to emulate. American yeah. culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. you know. Okay, but this is the thing. We used to put on plaid. Yeah. All, automatically, you Jamaican. Oh, oh, Lord, God, oh God. And the belt. Oh, oh, the belt. The, oh, I know you was attracted to one or two of those rude boys coming to school with their silk shirts, with their belly <laughs> shoes on, with the travel fox. By the way, travel fox is coming oh, back. Oh, yeah, travel fox. It's coming back, and people, oh, it's going to be God. like Clarkson. We'll, we'll try to bring baddies back with yeah, the slave. You know, it's start like, selling travel flocks. Hey, yeah, you see that? Entrepreneurship people. Not just selling travel flocks. That come with a culture. A, 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 a history. A, what? That's Can you believe that? Jamaica's Can you shoes. Believe that? That, that was all Can you Jamaicans. believe that? We made the Adidas three stripes popular, painting it red, gold, and green. Yeah, That's no. Jamaica. Okay. We make We do things original. You know we don't we don't copy people. You know we, we're a strong nation and we got strong influences. You know we influence people. We're the coolest thing on the planet. That's how we look at ourselves. You know, and I think that you know you guys. You know you guys are great. You know it's it's good that you know we can we're able to sit here and talk about where we're going and where we want to go because you know we want to do big things. We just don't want to have a little shop on the corner. You know, you know, t t t I tell them, tell, if, tell them what you want. If tell it's them. a little shop on the corner, it's because it's franchises. Or yeah. Shops on oh, the my. oh, she sounds like, no, that's what I'm talking about. I I, I'm all through the Caribbean. Uh, you heard what she said? She didn't. I like, said, oh, you mean that's 10 years? You're still one in a Belize? Yeah, you know, so that's the one down in, in the in the um down a Barbie at us. Oh yes. man, and people was in there. No, that business is doing good. good. You know, stop thinking locally. And you guess have what? to think internationally. Nationally. Yeah. And guess what they sell? Strawberry lemonade. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it. Strawberry lemonade. That's you everybody. You know what? And she yeah. has about thirty different true. flavors of strawberry lemonade. lemonade. Yeah, this is the car wash one that I'm doing with a little white kid on the <laughs> His name is Josh. Hey, Josh, come on. And you know, you know, you know who taught us that in America? The little white kids. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, know a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this. We know this. In America, mm -hmm. Jamaicans live anywhere. Anywhere. You could be they, they, you could be on the news every day talking about, oh, it's a racist community and it's pure racism. Jamaican move right in the neighborhood, right in, front of, okay. right in front of the, the, the Grand Wizard house itself. Hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with this conversation here in the Liaison Lounge with Octavia Duhaney and our guest Rohan Wilson. We'll be right back. This is Hope for Tomorrow Radio here on reggae.com.
Oh, is a key for the haters piss It's the anticipation The way the crowd just sound And I ain't talking home court When I'm stomping ground It's coming hurt Oh lord, my Atlanta I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta Top and all the haters Wanna see a nigga fall But I'm not cause I'm a champion A champion Tell them I'm a champion Hello hey, And hey, you don't want to Ain't no way that I'm stopping Look, I'm gonna be in the game For a quarter straight so keep it tuned to reggaetoregga.com and we'll have more for you. Keep it locked. On reggaetoregga.com, we encourage our listeners with an inclusive intelligent and innovative alternative media experience yeah. my name is ruel hey and i'm joya and this is the man Jaden. And, and we, we are, are british dependency out of anguilla, anguilla. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to reggae to reggae tv and radio yes reggae to reggae Reggae to reggae, taking over the world. Yeah, this is Andy Livingston, the Living Roots. All right, now you're tuned to Reggae to Reggae TV. All right, now you don't know. Reggae to Reggae, for the best in live reggae music, you know what I mean? Bless up. One love. Second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation. Good night. Good night. Hey, we are back. Hope for tomorrow. Ra Radio here on reggaetoreggae.com. And again, it's a pleasure to be here in the liaison lounge with Octavia Duhaney and our wonderful guest, Mr. Rohan Wilson. Octavia, before we went to break, you were saying that we needed to have more inclusion in the business department with new ideas. What's some, what's some of those new ideas you have? You know, I really um, don't like to hassle mm -hmm. people or for people to hassle themselves. You know, like, right. I think innovation, in, innovation. Amen. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you got that out there, like, innovation. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um. I didn't. I, I was trying to stray from invasion. You know? yeah. <laughs> Whoa, way off. Innovation, yeah. right? I think that's our best bet because you know when, like you were saying about the business um, strategies, and that's what I tell people. You know, because I I like education. You know, I would always encourage someone. Oh yeah, get your education. But nowadays, there's so many programs that. One time, what might have took two years takes six months now. Mm. So, you know, to me, why not get the six months and then get off into making money, you know? And um, innovation, like with Jamaica, we have so much to offer the world. And we have good food, good pastries, good everything. Beautiful right? woman. Okay, but we can't package them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might be doing that another way, but that's another right, discussion right. on another topic on another moment. It might not even be legal. <laughs> so beautiful. Exactly. No, it's all legal. Okay. Nothing illegal here. All legal. So, yeah. you know, my thing is, um, you know, like, even with pastries. Yes. You know how we used to sell Girl Scout, Girl Scout mm -hmm. cookies in America? Well, I'm to Jamaica Girl Scout. We can. Jamaica's a brand name. 
I mean, or it doesn't have to be necessarily Girl Scout. It mm -hmm. has to be something pertaining to Ginger something. snack cookie, ginger cook, Jamaican ginger cookies. You know, because our ginger is really good. Right. Very strong. Very strong. But in that form, in that, yeah. you know, with our pastries. Right. Know? But it's just innovation. Because, I mean, like, if there's a bakery already, you, you know, a person could get with them mm -hmm. and um, miniaturize their pastry. Yeah. And package it and be like have um holiday orders. You understand? Like yeah. how you have Christmas cake. You know, not just cake, that is true. all kind of stuff. You know? The Christmas cake remember, we have our own sweets. Who does that? We literally make our own candy. Think about it. Um what's the other one? The coconut the the co drops. the coconut drops. The other really sweet one. Yeah, the black the, one. What's that black one? The oh. coconut, the grisada cakes. Grisada cakes. And the other. The, the peanut cake. Right. Those are all our original sweets, bacon right. onion. We can brand those. Mm -hmm. like, just miniaturize. Yeah. Right. Just miniaturize. And it's that stink ladies and gentlemen. It's very sweet. It's not sweet. Yeah. It's not and we don't have to do anything other than miniaturize them and mm -hmm. just put them in a can, you know, with the crepe paper or whatever it yeah. is. And there you go. Have orders of Jamaican pastries. Like Jamaican pastries. Ja Jamaican assorted miniature pastries. You know, that's like innovative. And we yes. have deported migrants, females who have their certificate in baking and yes. pastry making. And, um, you know, that's something innovative, but for it, like, as we know, it does take money, because... Well, I see it as that we as a nation, as a people, can culturalize it, but the deported migrants can help monopolize it, right. because we have uh, better ideas, maybe in some, so to speak, not really trying to be negative, but we have, I think, ideas that are more futuristic. We have a bit of a vision. We have the innovation. We were in that first world country and sees what it takes to get those ideas off the ground. And even in speaking in this realm as we are now, it's just shooting ideas off the board. If we were to say, go ahead, full force, and we had financial backing and we could do this Jamaica Sweets and brand it, it would be so successful. It would be a Nabisco. It would be a Nestle. It could be up in right. that point because we could we see the, the turning point of how to get it there, the corners that you would have to take. And basically just franchise it. Right, because everything, you know, that's sweets, as far as candy or pastry, if you realize America took it and made them bite size. And that's how yeah. people want to eat sweets. I mean, they want, like, bite size. They want something to grab quick and bite well, size. Well, I see what you guys are getting at. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it's very good that you brought those points up. And um, with that being brought up, you know, with, 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 with talking about innovation, I think, you know, that the, 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 the wheel doesn't need to be recreated, you know? You know, Jamaica has everything that it takes to, um, to, to get it to anywhere it wants to go. That's true. I think what happens is, you know, well, you know, we read on TV acquisitions and acquisitions and stuff like that being done with companies buying out companies, you know, all over the place. How do we get that done? We have to raise funds, you know, and how do we do that? One of the easiest ways to raise funds is to um, incorporate, again, back to incorporation, mm -hmm. you know, where you can, you can create balance sheets and um, create securities, where you can sell or you could you can sell units to that company, where you can get people that see that something there is viable. And, you know, you can raise the money to buy some of these, some of these companies. A lot of people don't understand, understand that in Jamaica, a lot of these companies, you see them driving around with their trucks and all of that, and their brands are coming on TV. And actually, they're not even worth a lot of money, you know. And um, you know, if if, if 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 a real rich guy comes in here that's worth a couple hundred million dollars U.S., he could he can spin some wheels around here, you know what I'm saying? Because you 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 you, you have a set a, a mindset that's in here already that what we was talking about before called scared money. And we all know scared money don't make any money. But you're saying innovation. You know what I'm saying? For you to have innovation, you have to take what you have already and, and, just, and turn it into something. Yeah. You know, you have to you have to use a pencil and a sharpener and put it together and, and turn it to sharp. <laughs> now you have something sharp. You can do something with it to, to, to put on a fork and dig a hole now. Yeah. You understand me? So we don't need to recreate. You know, if you look at Jamaica and look at the infrastructure here, it's... it's, 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 it's 
from what I see, the building side of Jamaica when it started in the 60s or whatever, I, I figure it was like in the 50s, 60s coming up, they were building here with the infrastructure set in for future building. Yes. Consistency, keep going and going yeah. and going and building on. Because if you look at the roads, they use the roads to channel the water mm -hmm. as drainage, but they end up at a part that run into the gully. Mm -hmm. Well, over time, they were supposed to connect those more and more into the into the into the neighborhoods. They didn't. You know, all they did was find a way yeah. to create uh, uh, jobs by um, keep paving roads. You know, and 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 that was an innovation. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to wait on something to be damaged to give somebody else a job after that. That's because true. you don't have to, when you're set up like that, you don't have to raise pay. Mm -hmm. People are just happy to get a job. You know, so, you know, Jamaica has the infrastructure. We don't need to recreate anything here. Everything is here. Yeah. We just need some, some sense of, some, some, no, I, I won't even say because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You know, we just need some people, all of us, like I said, we're at a crossroad, let's all hold our hands together and for our nation, cross the street. But cross it together this time, you know? And let's put this together, you know? We could put it together by creating, you know, facilitating, like what she said, innovation. And if we facilitate innovation, we'll have all of these things accomplished, what she's refer referring to. Well said, my friend, well said. So, if you don't think anyone should cross before us? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me explain something to you. You can kick the can down the street. You can kick the can down the street, but you but but you you heard that you heard what what, what, what was said. Kick it down the street. That means you have to catch up back to it at some point. You understand me? So deal with it now. Mm -hmm. You know you, you 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 know this is not hard to do. Jamaica is not what what Jamaica par problem is is not poverty. Jamaica is not poor. People, I say this. Jamaica is not a third it's world not. country. And let me say this, why Why I would it's say not. it's not, yeah. because, you know, I used to walk in the country park, and I used to wonder why is all this hockey on the ground? Wasted. Hockey, that's, yeah. the, that's all you saw, what about no, all, all the mangoes? No, you know, it was like a, it was like a, a, a hockey walk. Oh, okay, and it was like okay, a okay. whole bunch of hockey trees and so forth. And then, you know, I was like, wow, unbelievable. Because, you know, they were selling ati for like $80 a pound. Yeah. That's when it's in season. So it's really unbelievable how people say they're hungry. You yeah. Know? I mean, you don't want to just keep eating ati every day of the week or so, but still, you know, it's, it's, it's food. Mm -hmm. It's food that can make a variety of things you know it's like you have one food item and you can do so much with that one food that's item, true you know that's true. so um there you go innovation again you know and it took vegetarians to experiment with raw food to come up with a lot of different recipes and dishes for, mm -hmm. right you know yeah. so that's my thing you know today's day we don't want to make things difficult upon ourselves you know if you have if you have a bamboo, bamboo is, you know, it's, we went to the Bureau Bamboo's of Standard. Bamboo is a booming industry. Right. It's what you, what bamboo is, 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 you know, is, 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 is your humongous business. There's so much it's, things it's you right can do with bamboo. With, with right. the bauxite. Bamboo and bauxite is, is huge. Right. But my thing about uh, it I is think when you... What's up there with bauxite is um, limestone. When you limestone. Look at, when you look at how the Chinese utilize their resources, Oh, man. Bamboo. I mean, when, it's you, huge. when you look it's at huge. how they build like a water, a mill and they build it with bamboo and it's turning near the river and it has like bamboo um, um, directing the irrigation of the water into the farm, you know, and it's that's automatic. Well, the and Chinese doing it are on here. Its own. And, and they're going to use our bad moves eventually. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Hope for Tomorrow Radio here on ReggaeToReggae.com. We're having a wonderful conversation piece here with Octavia Duhaney here in the Lazy On Lounge and with my great friend, Mr. Rohan Wilson. We'll be right back. Proud to sound, and I ain't talking home court when I'm stuck.
stomping ground It's coming hurt Oh lord, my lesson I'm gassed up in that late down to Atlanta When you top and all they hitters wanna see a nigga fall But I'm not cause I'm a champion reggaetoreggae.com and we have more for you. Keep it locked. Since the first public demonstration of radio by Nikola Tesla in 1893, no one ever thought of putting the two hours of music together until we created Reggae to Reggae dot com. Yeah. My name is Ruel. Hey, and I'm Joya. And this is the man Jaden. And, and we, we are, are British, British Dependency out of Anguilla. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Reggae to Reggae TV and Radio. Yes. This is the Uprising Rose Band. I represent the Reggae to Reggae dot com. Boom, shakalakalaka, boom, boom, boom. Sing, check out. I'm out. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Bang, bang, ding, bing, dong, bang, bing, bing, ding. Trench down, you keep on rocking. Yeah, yeah, the uprising. Hi, I'm Jasmine Tash from the Jasmine Tash Live Show. And you're watching Reggae to reggae, reggae to reggae, taking over the world. Yeah. I can't fall the problem, I'm not a moon top and all they hear is wanna see a nigga fall, but I'm not cause I'm a champion. Again, hope for tomorrow radio here on reggae to reggae.com radio like you've never seen it, TV like you've never heard it. We've been having a wonderful time tonight here in the studio with Octavia and Mr. Wilson as we're sitting in talking about business ideas that we can implement here in Jamaica. Basically, that will help us brand and that deported migrants do have an effect on the economy with that what we add, the economic value that deported migrants have here in Jamaica and I remember when we, before we went off air you were speaking about the hubs that are to come in place Mr. Wilson and I'd like for you to kind of divulge a little bit more on that on what you see the future of Jamaica's business and especially with the hubs coming. Well you know the strategic hub is something that's um, that's coming to Jamaica a lot of people think oh it's not but it is mm -hmm. um, Jamaica um, through history has been a, a transshipment area All right. you know, and that's why the English fought for it because they knew the importance of it we're really the most centralized country in the Western Hemisphere. We sit wow. between North America mm -hmm. and South America. That's true. We're positioned exactly in the center of it. The same amount of distance to the North, same amount of distance to the South. And what, 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 there, there have been multilaterals who have known this for, for many, many years, decades. And, and I, I, I don't know why it hasn't reached here yet. Um, I've heard, the, you know, politic people that are into politics deep talk about Toyota wanting to come here and da da da, and this person and this prime minister. And I don't want to hear all of that. If I have a prime minister, work with him, pray with him. You know, if, even if you're another party, try to hope that he do the best because he can make one good choice and say and change everything. And I think that's what you know we need, to, you know, to understand those things also. But <laughs> this 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 hub that's coming here. I don't think the people understand what it entails. Um, and, and, and for me to give you an, uh, 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 an uh, overstanding of, of, of this, you need to, 
to take a look at a country like Singapore and um, what it has accomplished in the last 30 to 40 years and um, where they are now as one of the highest paid workforce in the world. Yes. First world nation. Yes. Okay. And like I said before, ladies and gentlemen. The country didn't even have running water. Jamaica is not a third world country. It it's is a not. first world country rent like a third, third world, world country. Nation. Yes, it is. And that's why it looks like Brilliant. this. You Brilliant. Know? And, said. Um, Brilliant. Brilliantly said. You know, um, I was talking to Rick the other day when we were talking on the other show that when it didn't come through. And what we was talking about is the, the, the people here are so innate to waiting for someone to do something yes. that, that you're going to be forced out of your nation. And you're not going to be forced out of your nation because somebody wants to force you out. You're going to be forced out of your nation because you want to hold on to old pride. You, you understand, in a, in, a, in, a, in a world that's, that's becoming unforgiving to those that, that, that don't want to move along with, with, with prosperity. That's right. and, and, and remember, when you understand when prosperity is coming, then you, are, you become a part of the molding of that, uh, of that, of that, um, of that, that, that development. You know, you, you, you can help mold it. You know, and, um, I was thinking that Based on what I see now, the people aren't ready. You know, um, um, you're talking about shipyards being built. You know, you, you, this is the fourth link into the world chain of shipping. You know, Singapore, Dubai, Rotterdam. These are some of the richest places on earth. What do you think is going to happen to Jamaica? If you don't play, if you don't come along, you know, and have part of that building process, and, and, and forging your own destiny, somebody else is gonna come in and then you're gonna be upset like when we were in America. Oh, those Koreans are coming in, those Arabs coming in and buying up everything. Well, damn, the 7-Eleven been closed for five years. You telling me all you guys around here never thought of one day you could have bought it and sold the same thing 7-Eleven been selling? <laughs> now that the Korean came and bought it, he bust his butt four years working, you don't know, and bro, you can, can't take anything from an Asian. They work hard to the nail. Just like a foreigner going to America, our parents work hard to the nail. You know? And you are shocked what they have today based on the little jobs our mothers have and throwing those partners. You know? I'm not lying to you. I would never throw a dollar in a partner because I play interest. But now that I see it and I'm living here, I see the advantages of throwing yeah. a partner. You know, there are advantages mm -hmm. to it, but I never used to see that. And with that being said, this hub is coming into place. And if we don't start understanding and educating our stuff, yes. what a strategic hub is and what it entails, we're going to be stuck. We're going to, these, these ghetto areas that you all think you're capturing the lands, you're going to be pushed out. Coercion is going to happen. You said something on the last show that I don't, um, because of the technical difficulties, I don't think they really caught, but you said that for those that aren't ready to take that step and make those strides, there's going to be someone that's going to be left behind because they're thinking that it's about because that's coming here, it's going to benefit everyone. You say it's going to benefit the ones who are educated and are in place, yeah, and ready to take advantage of it. Yes, when yes, you speak yes. about that a little bit, yeah, yeah. and 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 um, you know, um, you, you know, a lot of these rich men around here are have to are going to have to leave too, mm -hmm. you know, because you know, you have a lot of houses around here where nobody have titles to them. You know, and there are people that are sitting here waiting on somebody to take care of them abroad. It's been going on like that for 10, 20, 30 years, you know, and building up um, brick walls beside gullies and all of that. I mean, you're talking about these ghettos that you guys are talking about, they can't be torn down. You're going to be shocked how quick they can be torn down and a whole city built on top of, the, on top of them. Kingston City and the harbor is going to be skyscrapered out, okay? You guys need to start overstanding that, start grabbing your position. You need to start being more innovative, business ideas. Take, start, you know, you, you, a lot of you guys live in a house where your, your, your aunt left the house and everybody is living in there. Your aunt is the one still have to pay the light bill for all 10 people <laughs> living in the house. No, 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 no. To put all of this, it's not, it's not a joke and matter. No, it's true. It's this is true. something that's, that's, that, you know, the, 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 the complicit, of just sitting there mm, being and, 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 yeah. and, and, and not doing anything and, and, and um, the liquor nephew, he going out at night time and look something for Robert. 
um, the, 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 the niece, she look a man for mine or a big man come check she, that are the fourth one this month. You understand what I mean? The, the, the mother, she has sit there and whatever the kids them do, she really can't do nothing about it because things rough, so whatever them bring, she have to take it. You understand me? That's true. So, you know, we, 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 we're, we're stuck in this, this revolving door mm -hmm. and we, we need to get out of it. We need to start, you know, instead of sending our kids to university to brag on Miss Mar down there, oh, um, so you know, she go out of school and she get, um, when, when did, you know, Jamaicans, they brag about this. Oh, she have, um, what they call it? She have seven, seven subjects. Subject subject. She have seven subjects. Subject. Really what they saying to me and Rick is, um, I guess they would be bragging about us because that's an American high school diploma. That's a high school diploma. Yeah, that's that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's so basically what they're saying. Yeah. They graduated that's high school. school. Basically. Cool. Which is, and yeah. here's, here's, yeah. Here, here, here's the monkey wrench in this now. Yeah. Those same eight, seven subjects, if you were to get up and leave this island now, what is the value? Well, it's a high school diploma and two more subjects. Yeah, and, and that's a junior college. But yeah, junior that, but that's the same yeah. thing we're doing over there. But if they were to come up with that same subject, they're taking those courses over again. Yeah, they'll have to take a test. You understand what I'm saying? They would have yeah. to take they a take test. They take an aptitude test. Yeah, aptitude to test. To see where they are. And, 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 but and you guys pass tests now. Don't, don't, don't. Your textual no, knowledge is, 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 you have, to, when it comes to textual knowledge, you, you know, because textual knowledge is just based knowledge based on memory. Right. You know, and, and, and uh, you know, you, you take, you're very good at taking tests, but practical, it don't make no sense you're good at taking the test and then when I throw I the can't. equipment in front of you, you um, can't do it. The, the little baby knows how to do it and the guy that don't know how to read, know how to work it, and you, all you've done is read a book. You read the book and didn't even have the equipment to work, well, you I, know? I think that the reason being a lot of that happens down here is the lack of um, what I would call apprenticeship. Equipment. Ah. Uh, okay. Equipment. Equipment is one and apprenticeship is another. Quickest way, for instance, quick quick story before we get back into that. Um, I used to do cable, fiber optics cable in there. Yeah. Before I even had to work, I was an apprentice with Butler Brothers Cable. Yeah. So they would take us out in basically in rural areas, yeah. put us up on posts, show us how to strand a fiber optic cable. That in return, by the time I finished and got my certificate in that class after about six months or so, I could go to Adelphia Cable. Comcast cable. I was already trained and they give yeah, me yeah, in, yeah, in yeah, all yeah, those yeah, yeah. specific areas. Yeah. So in return down here, for instance, they don't even have a business apprenticeship program for somebody coming out of college. Oh, they have one but for the elite? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is on a vocational level, no, 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 no. that's happening abroad. Well, that's hearts. But, uh, and arts, but, but arts hard, hard stepping it up now. I, 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 but I, I, what I'm trying like to say is we need is more of that. Uh, what you saying. know what I think we, we need, need more, more of? of that. When it comes to heart, I think that this government yeah. needs to stop penny picking the people. That's okay? true. That's true. That's Everybody the in the country is waiting, is, 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 is being asked to hold on. Mm -hmm. And I think we have all held on long enough. We've been holding on since we went to America. Yes. And and, and we're back and you're still holding on. Yeah. <laughs> Jamaican people, you know, you people out there that that's in power, you you know, you need to respect what's going on here. The people have shown you nothing but respect. You know, by sitting there and bearing this pain. You know, poverty is pain. You know, and when we come here as 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 migrants, deported migrants, and see what's going on in this nation. We're, we're in poverty not because we have to be. We're in poverty because of lack of love for each other. That's true. You understand me? There's no love here. That's true. You understand? That's there the is no love. The, 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 the church can't love itself. The House of Parliament can't love itself. That's true. And the gangbangers can't love themselves. That's true, bro. Okay? We all got to love each other. And, 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 and with, 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 this, with this not working out in this way, this strategic hub that we're talking about is only going to benefit people like me, Rick, Octavia, who knows what's coming. And believe me, you know, if, 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 if you're not going to come to my, my workplace when you want to, I'm going to fire you. I'm going to fire you after the second time. You get too late for a year. And I'm going to fire you on the third one. And every time you're late, you're going to sign that you're late. I'm not going to worry about you. Don't come to me and talk about I'm fighting you. I'm going to put somebody else in your place. 
that wants that opportunity. And I think, yeah, go ahead. No, good point. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. More on Hope for Tomorrow Radio here. Okay. We're having a wonderful conversation. Okay, and we'll pick it up from right there when we come right back. Hope for Tomorrow Radio here on ReggaeToReggae.com. For the one second, all you hear is swish. My motivation is to keep all the haters pissed. It's the anticipation, the way the crowd just sounds. And I ain't talking on court when I'm stomping ground. The stomach hurt, oh Lord, my Atlanta. I'm gassed up in that lay down in Atlanta. I'm talking all the haters wanna see a nigga fall, but I'm not cause I'm a champion. Get to reggae.com and we have more for you. Keep it locked. On reggae to reggae.com, we encourage our listeners with an inclusive, intelligent, and innovative alternative media experience. My name is Ruel. Hey, and I'm Joya. And this is the man, Jaden. And, and we, we are British, British Dependency out of Anguilla. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Reggae to Reggae TV and Radio. Yes! Yeah, this is Andy Livingston, the Living Roots. All right, now you're tuned to Reggae to Reggae TV. All right, now you don't know. Reggae to Reggae for the best in live reggae music. You know what I mean? Bless up. One love. Since the first public demonstration of radio by Nikola Tesla in 1893, no one ever thought of putting the two hours of music together until we created reggae to reggaecom Radio here on reggae to reggae.com radio like you've never seen it, TV like you've never heard it. Wonderful, wonderful conversation piece tonight with Rohan Wilson, former jewelry store owner, home owner, now going into real estate, and my wonderful, wonderful co host Octavia Duhaney. And we've been talking about business ideas that deported migrants can implement here in Jamaica, the uh, American business ideas as well, brand naming. And also talking about infrastructure. We've just been covering a wide realm. Wonderful conversation tonight. And for our listeners out there, we want to apologize for any technical difficulty that we may have had during the program. We'd like to sincerely apologize for any audio failures. We've been having a bit of visual trouble as well. So for our viewers out there, please continue to stay tuned and listen in as well. For our listeners, thank you for bearing with us through our technical problems as well. And you know that Hope for Tomorrow is a program to empower deported migrants, and we're all about inclusion. So thank you for bearing with us. We're picking up our conversation from where we left off at. But Mr. Wilson, go ahead and finish your part of the last section. Oh, yeah. And um, like I was saying, with this upcoming of um, Octavia, jump in when you think that um, you want to uh, maybe break it down a little bit more so the people can understand where we're going here. Um, the people, because this is about the people. So and, uh, yeah, it's inclusion. about inclusion in the people. Um, one of the things that we must acknowledge is that there is, when it comes to a strategic hub, it, it, it just doesn't involve shipping. It, it, it does involve shipping, but many different forms of shipping. You have air, 
born and you have the sea and you have trains, um, locomotive. And um, of course, BNF is locomotive, it has to be local. Yes. You understand? And, and um, the shocking thing is why nobody won't take advantage of that. Jamaica has the infrastructure to put trains in. It's been, it's, it's, yeah, they, they were already cut. They yeah. just stopped the train. Yeah, so I mean. They didn't have the, um, I mean, the money. Listen. Listen, listen, Funding. listen. It's a locomotive. It's run off of coal and power. You can run it off of a steam engine. Listen, right now, right? I, think, I think the government should have created some type of bond to buy into it, the people buy into it. You know, I think that we're selling our country out to, to, to foreigners, which is, don't get me wrong, I, I, I'm not a protectionist or anything like that, but I think if we're going to do things in our country, I think we should bring... Um, um, high-skilled technicians and engineers here and, and, and designers and builders here to, to, to and pay them to build for us so that we can get those that technology transformed transferred over to us Great our idea. society and in return also yeah. have an internship program with some of our skilled laborers under them yes and, 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 and receiving all right make it to be a partnership let um you know if you if you're offering all of these things to the chinese or the americans or the people from singapore because it's not just the chinese coming in here the chinese is making one big push to get it jumping it's a 1.5 billion dollar thing with the highland, but when it's all done, it's 2. Point something million billion. And then at the end of the day, by the time everything is done, they're gonna spend about 30, 20 billion within the next 10 years because you have shipyards that have to come in here, airport has to be built, and guess what, people? Kingston can't go nowhere else. Montego Bay can't go nowhere else. We need a new airport. It has to be done. And believe me, you guys are like, whoa, uh, that's too much, y'all. Yeah, nah, nah, come on, that's. That's a little secret there now. Clarendon That's what we doing. call a stock pick. So well, Clarendon is hot on the stock market right if now. If you want to just break it down into area where it could, could be, be done. In a, That's in a, in a one a of the basic areas. It, 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 it's the, the perfect air, place. What about the airport out there in St. Mary, is it? Oh, uh, well, you're talking about uh, that. Something that Penn went uh, um, Well, th what is going to happen, you have to understand, is that Jamaica is centered to where it's 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 it, it's it's going to do what it what it's what it's been doing for years. It the tentacles are going to reach everywhere. Yes. Okay. And and you know the Chinese are offering us to build all the roads and the highways that Jamaica needs for a certain amount of acres of land. You know, and all these acres of land we look at it as a bad thing, but it might be a good thing if we as a people. Um, advice our people here already that listen come along with this don't let it leave you don't get caught up in the saying oh the Chinese are bad work with the Chinese the Chinese been here okay you know if you read history and know you know they, they, they're indigenous to these lands so so and so are you mm -hmm. you know so um you 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 start partnershiping and start and stop this, this dividing. You know you're dividing amongst your brothers and you're dividing amongst your neighbors. You know and we need to unite even with them. You if we're going to the table, you know that you know Obama was here the other day and he was talking about a very important thing and it's called transparency. Mm -hmm. You know we cannot further our nation across this road that we've been talking about hand in hand unless. There is transparency. We don't care about people making money because somebody has to make the money. All we want to do is when the money is made, that the money is redistributed back into the into the society. And, you know, they have a couple programs here that's going on in Jamaica, even this, this marijuana initiative that's going on. And one of the great things, reading the policy and regulations of what they're trying to put on paper here, is that they're trying to make it so the small man it has access to 40% of all growth. You know, and they don't, they, they want it so the small man can eat. And that's a great way of how, that's, that, that's a great model to build on where we can, you know, you can come here, but we have to be benefiting just as much if it's not more than who is coming here. But we don't want to take anything away from you because we want to be able to go to China and do a business if we want to. We want to sell curry goat and curry chicken in China. You know, the Chinese never said we couldn't come there and <laughs> no. set up a shop or build a port. Of course not. They never did. But we are saying because they have the money and we have the money, but we have scared money and won't take advantage of our own position. You had something to say on my dear, with, the pretty, <laughs> with the pretty hair yeah, here right. on the radio? No, yeah. it's not right. It's pretty. Go okay. On. Thank you. I do have something to say. I just know that um, we do look for 
the future. That's why it's hope for tomorrow. And uh, we, you know, we we um we have a lot to administer. Oh you know? God, you just put that word administer. Go ahead. Yeah, That's we do. We really have a lot to administer. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's sad that you know we um get stigmatized as we do because. If we um, were given the chance, I think, you know, we create even a better government, you know? Yes, we were. The government, um, I think, you know, it's it's just a, a how shall I say, it's, um, it's almost like a fall suit, you know? Yeah. It's almost like playing. Be, be, more, be, be more, a little bit more, um, more detail okay. about fall suit. Fall suit, yeah, yeah fall like, suit. You know, yeah. like. This is what it has been, so I'm going to continue to keep it like that. Mm -hmm. Like, no one has come in power to say, I'm going to be an innovator about this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take this leap of faith and go this direction. You know, like, yeah. like you know, it, to me, I'm always saying that gambling is not my thing because it's almost like politics. You and I are in the same game. So we're going to work together so we don't lose. But we have to face this thing off like we're not together. Mm -hmm. So if I lose, you're still a winner. And if you lose, I'm still so a winner. Beautiful point. Beautiful point. Because yeah. I think a lot of times we're more, we conform more than reform. And a lot of things, as you said earlier, instead of just trying to be a conservationist, sometimes we need more exploration. Right. And I think what's reaching our country now more and more as we look into it, trying to bring everything under in one umbrella with what you guys are saying, is that um, we are, we're, we're looking for innovators instead of becoming, becoming them. innovators. And what happens is after a time now, we find that finger pointing gets in. Yeah. Oh, and it's a lot of finger pointing right now. And that's what happens to our country in the in the governmental areas. But let's get it back down to this area of deported migrants and economic relief on our behalf. Just as this program is vital to what I would like to say is helping with structure because this is a forum where ideas can be nurtured and bounced off and created to where you have listeners, somebody out there listening will be like, hey, you know, I had an idea of doing that, but because they said it couldn't happen, and as you were saying, don't let anybody tell you that it can't be done, they didn't pursue it. So sometimes when we're talking, we gotta realize that we're using this platform to edify us not only just inspire, but to edify, to quantify as well. And I think that a lot of times our people, in whole as Jamaicans in general, as you said, we're, we're tending to looking for the way out instead of us becoming the solution. And until we can really look ourselves in the eye and say, okay, I'm not gonna have to, so to speak, look for a foreign investor to come here to build this foundation for me or to set up this enterprise for me. I can do it myself. Mm -hmm. I can use the manpower around me. I have a vision. I believe that it can be done. And with this support group in place, it can be done. And what Hope for Tomorrow has showed me is that it takes people working together to make things happen. And until, as you say, we take that hand in hand and cross that street together, and it's beyond the street, it's a river, to be honest. We're trying to cross a river with, a with, 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 with us. Yeah, our, 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 swift current. Our, 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 our swift current river. We're, we're basically trying to cross the Mississippi in rubber boots with a mud stick. Oh my God, we sink it. And we have to realize that as deported migrants, the economic value we bring to this country, as you spoke about before with Western Union, whether it's Delta Airlines, Jamaica National, hey, KFC, Burger King, Digicel. Digicel. We're so vital to those enterprises 
because a lot of the the economic benefits that's coming to them is basically off of those foreigners, so to speak, as they call us. Remember, they call us foreigners down there. They what they call us when we hang out with them. Foreigner. Well not foreigner, man. Because they see that our mentality is it's for us, a cooked meal is better than fast food. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. in America you wouldn't find twenty dollars at for a fast food meal. You'd find that something that they're prepared to yeah, cook. Yeah, we went to a grocery store. In here it's the opposite. Now think about it. A box food costs you averagely three hundred dollars. You cannot go into a Burger King and find something for $300. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So there's a certain way I think And, and the Burger King is fast food. It's fast it's food. It's not, not really anything for But to a hot girl, you bring her a box food or bring her a BK, she's going to say, why are you trying to do it? So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say with that as a, as a long way to get to my point is that I think we got things backwards. Down here? Yeah, right now. And us as deported migrants, the value of us is we bring clarity. Yeah. And if they include us in the big picture, the value of it is we benefit the nation as a whole. Where and we've I think been, that, that, that's crucial to our situation. Where we've been, it's coming here. Now. Yeah. Oh, now so it's getting there you're now. Smart. Right. You, I, you just touched on yes, something. Yes, it's getting there now. Yeah, it's coming. It's getting there. Yeah. Crucial. We're, right. we're the bridge. Finish we're the your point and then we're going to close. Yeah. And, Finish your point, we're going to close. And, um, you know, to say that we've been there, done that, you know, we could enlighten a lot. That, of that's our people. Duty, is to, if they're willing to take. Right. Uh, no, it, go ahead. No, go ahead. You wanted to, you wanted to go ahead? Let her finish, because we got, all we right. got well, this is our last minute. All right, mm -hmm. all right. I would like to say this before the show is done. You know, even though this is Rick's show and Octavia going on right here, you guys, I thank you guys for um, allowing me to um, be here with you guys today. Thanks very much, you're two beautiful people. Um, I would like to say today, as you know, I'm not here, I'm not going to, I don't know when I'm ever coming back here, but listen, I invite the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, Philip Paulwell, everybody that's in industry to come here and sit down and talk to us. A platform where there's no biasness. We I mean we're not political. We we know if we live in if we live certain areas, Tivoli Garden and all of that, believe me, we're not acting any way about who is the prime minister on a uh, if Porsche is the Prime Minister, support her. If it's Andrew Holness, support him. And hope and pray for our Prime Minister to make the right decisions to bring our country ahead. Because if they're the administrator, they're the administrator. With us saying that, we would love to see our Prime Minister, our lovely, beautiful Prime Minister, and our Mr. Holness, who is the opposition. Here is a platform where you can come and talk, not as politicians, but, you know, but to just politic. You know, politics about some things that we can do and, you know, take our ideas. Okay, you want to you wanna keep the room a little quiet? Okay, take some of our ideas and go back in the room and make some things happen, you know? And, and, you know, that's what I would like to see. We're inviting you guys here. We would love you. The invitation is always open. And let me say that, um, you know, the Bible says that you, you will always know the heart of the authority figure by looking at the poor. That's true. Uh, that's true. No, by looking at the poor. How is the poor looking? I mean, you If know, the poor is disenfranchised and downtrodden and beaten, it's obvious that there shouldn't be any poor. Isn't right. it? Any at all. There's enough for everybody. But there's a saying there's enough for everybody. You know the heart of yeah. the authority figures by looking at the poor. Well, well we said. have a dream. And we want well to said, Octavia. Mr. Wilson, wonderfully, uh, thank you for coming on board. Okay. Octavia hey. Duane, always a pleasure. And we will be back here next Keep Monday, 7 to 9 again. Hope for tomorrow radio. Again, sorry tonight for any difficulties that may have occurred audio-wise. Okay. The donations. Oh, and before we close, any donations? Hope for tomorrow. Care of Wendy Lovejoy, 6555 Sugarloaf Parkway, Suite 307, Duluth, Georgia, 30097. Please remember this is a program to empower deported migrants. Your donations will be more than welcome. Again, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back again next week, 7 to 9, and we will continue to 
include and keep inclusion going for all deported migrants and to make sure that we help you stay empowered. Again, thank you for tuning in. We had a wonderful discussion tonight. Hope for tomorrow radio here on reggaetoreggae.com. Radio like you've never seen it. TV like you've never heard it. Hope for tomorrow radio. We'll see you again next week. Thank you. Oh. It's, it's quarter, quarter, one second, all you hear is swish My motivation